Hi, I'm Curly Sue. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you five vegan cakes that you can make really easily at home. So the five cakes I'm going to make with you, um, show you how to make today are sheet cake, apple cake, birthday cake, lemon drizzle and cream caramel jam sponge. So those are the five. Now all the links to the full recipe videos for these cakes are in the description box below and I'll also pin them in the comment in the comment section below as well for you. So these are cakes that are dairy free, egg free, they, they come as plant-based, they're suitable for everything. They're not gluten-free. I haven't ventured onto the gluten-free ciders yet, but definitely these are egg-free and dairy, egg-free and dairy-free. So, first of all, when it comes to making cakes, one of the great bases that you can start with for making cake is a vegan sponge cake. One of my best performing videos that has over 400,000 views is how to make a vegan sponge cake. And the link is in the description box below. Go and have a look at that. And that is a good basis to start with because from a sponge cake, you can use that to make so many other cakes as well. So start with learning how to make a sponge cake. It's really simple. It's just self-raising flour, baking powder, sugar, oil, any flavorless oil, vanilla, and that's really about it. Vanilla and also plant-based milk. So I usually use almond, but you can also use soy as well. And those are all the ingredients that you need and it's really quick and easy to make. Bakes in just under half an hour, between 35, 25 and 30 minutes, and that's it, your cake is ready. So once you've mastered that, then you can move on to make the other cakes. So let's start with the birthday cake. The birthday cake is basically the vegan sponge cake split in recipe, split into two. So you do it in two um, sandwich tins and then you're just going to add a filling in the middle. You can put jam in the middle and then you just ice it. So ice in a cake. <sighs> The easiest way to do it, I would say, is to use buttercream icing. Now, not all, but some of the buttercream icings on the market are actually suitable for vegans. So you have to really have a good look at the ingredients, but some of them are actually suitable for vegans. So if you don't want to make it, you can just get a store-bought one. And then what you're going to need is one of these, which is a turntable. So this is really good for, you put the cake on there, make sure the cake is stable on there. You can put some icing on there to make sure the cake sticks. And then you use that to make the, to apply the icing. And I also got one of these tools, which is good for smoothing it out. It just looks amazing. And then really simple decorations. I just use sprinkles on the cake and because it's multicolored, it just made it pop and look amazing. I made the birthday cake just for my YouTube channel, but then I took it to my church and they loved it. So inside I put jam, I sandwiched jam in the middle and then I also sliced some fresh strawberries as well. That way you get some fruits kind to kind of cut through all the sugar. So I try not to put too much sugar. So if I find a recipe that I'm going to veganize and it says, 250 grams of sugar. I will put in 200 grams of sugar because I want to make sure this cake is not too sweet because if you're going to put the icing on top of it, it's going to be far too sweet. So take it down a bit. And also if you add some fresh elements or some citrusy elements, that helps cut through the sugar as well. So moving on to the sheet cake. The sheet cake is basically one sheet, one recipe of the vegan sponge cake that you put into a baking tray and put icing on top really um, basic icing and then just put sprinkles on top and that's it it's done another name for the sheet cake is school cake in the uk they when they serve lunches in school one of the traditional cakes they make is a sponge cake with white icing and sprinkles on top so this is a vegan version of that this is really good for parties it's also good if you're going to somebody's house for some kind of potluck or i usually make it for my church my church serves lunch and they get 
us, the church members, I'm on the committee for baking and usually I bake for church. And one of the things I usually bake is either school cake, sheet cake, or their favorite that I make is the jam sponge. And sometimes I make a crumble. And then there's now apple cake. Uh, apple cake is mm, amazing. It's really warm in its flavors with the cinnamon and the apple, it's very autumnal. And to get those apple pieces in there, this is what I've done, I'll show you. I have this tool side. So you put the apple there and press down and it basically dices it. It's really quick and easy and really good, saves you having to chop things up really small when you really don't want to. It just takes it for me, it just makes it quicker and easier. And then all the chunks are the exact same size. Now, I know a, a knife skill that chefs have is to make everything the same size. I did not go to chef school. I'm self-taught. So I just use the vegetable chopper. It's fine. So it makes them all basically the same size and it really incorporates it so beautifully into this apple cake. And then you can put some kind of design on top. I just put a cherry on the top with a mint leaf. But instead of a cherry on the top with a mint leaf, you could find a teeny tiny apple or cut an apple, the top of the apple off and place it in the middle, depending on how you want to serve it. But that mwah, tastes absolutely divine. Then one of the UK British traditional cakes is lemon drizzle. It's zesty, it's bright, it's vibrant, and it's really gives, packs a punch of flavor. Really easy to make. This is great, you can serve it with custard, you can have it on its own, you can have it with some cream, and you can get vegan cream, vegan custard. I also have a recipe for vegan custard on my YouTube channel. I'll add a link in the description below. These are wonderful. Um, to have the lemon drizzle cake, Mwah, it's delicious. It's not the prettiest cake, but you can add lemon slices to it or dried lemon slices to it to give it a little pop. And that is lemon drizzle. Then the final one is my creation, cream caramel jam sponge, which are layers of sponge, jam, cream, and caramel drizzled onto the top. This is just a really lovely decadent dessert that is great for all special occasions. You will love this. It is light and fresh and with the fresh fruit that's in with it as well. It just, it's just a party in your mouth, I promise you. So don't forget all the links to the recipes I've just mentioned are in the description below. Do you make any kind of vegan cake? If so, comment in the comment section below. Is there a kind of vegan cake you would like me to make a video for and put on my YouTube channel? If so, pop it in the description box below and I will add it to my list of recipes to make. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, bye.